I'm Gail Marquardt. I'm Vice President of Communications for NFDA. And I have been working for the last couple years on a new consumer initiative called Remembering a Life. We are reaching directly out to consumers with information about what to do when someone dies, how to plan a funeral, whether pre-need or at the time of need, and how to find grief resources. Remembering a Life started with a website where consumers can go and find information on all of those topics. They can also go out there to search for an NFDA member funeral home in their area who can help them then execute the funeral um, that they might want to have either for themselves or for a loved one. One of the newest resources that we have available through this initiative is the Remembering a Life self-care box. And this fits into the grief area of the information that we are providing to consumers. And it's a wonderful opportunity for funeral directors to say thank you to the families they serve and to tell them, we understand that this next part of the journey, this grief journey is going to be very difficult and we're here for you. And uh, we want you to know that we are still thinking of you. So the box itself can be used to store mementos of a loved one. And the items inside, when you open it, um, there are all these lovely calming words. And the dragonfly has symbolism. The dragonfly not? does have symbolism. So one of the items that we have in the box is a dragonfly keychain. And there's also a little story that goes with the keychain. And it's a story of rebirth. And it's even though your loved one is no longer here on earth, um, he or she is still with you. So this is a wonderful token to put on your keychain. And a copy of the story is in here as well. This, we partnered with the Dragonfly Project, which is a nonprofit in Minnesota, to provide this particular item. When you first open the box, um, there's a little booklet in here that explains all of the items that are in the box and how those items might be beneficial to you as you begin the grief journey. And at the very end, we've included a list of things that people might want to do to remember their loved one in the days, weeks, and months, and even years after the death. Um, so just some gentle reminders of how they might be able to remember their loved ones. We worked with a grief therapist in the Milwaukee area to develop the grief journal that's part of the box. So there are pages in here uh, for traditional journaling. And there are also mandalas that people can color, which is very therapeutic when you're grieving. And there are some blank pages in the back to paste in photos or do some scrapbooking or some other painting or drawing um, related to grief. There's also a memory jar and families can use this and jot down little memories of their loved one and put them in here. And then at the end, um, when it's full or whenever they feel the need to read the memories and reflect on the life of their loved one, they can read those. Um, we'd love for funeral directors to use these at funerals. We think it would be a lovely gift at the end of the service to have guests write memories and then give this to the family as, as a memento and a thank you. Um, that time after the funeral can be, you know, there's so much activity before the funeral and afterwards it can be a little bit like what now and this gives them something to do after the after the funeral there is a pear and redwood scented candle um, which is a nice scent that seems to appeal to to both men and women um, and an essential oil roller that is sweet marjoram um, orange and lavender scented mm. also very soothing aromatherapy can be very helpful when someone is grieving. There's a water bottle because it's important to stay hydrated, um, especially when you're grieving. And a rose quartz stone that's in the shape of a heart. 
and rose quartz is the stone of unconditional love and when you rub it between your thumb and fingers it helps reduce anxiety which can also be part of the grieving process. So those are all of the items in the box and um, it's available to both consumers and funeral directors. Oh, so, um, so a funeral home might buy it uh, to give to their client families, but the public, where can they buy it? Um, members of the public can buy it at RememberingAlife.com. We've launched a store out there and they can purchase the box and some of the separate items as well. Thank you so much. You're welcome.